Hello everyone, and welcome to the 8th video of the Angular Portfolio website course. In this video, we will build out the HTML template for our homepage. For reference, this is what we will be creating. Let's go to our project. From here, open up the HTML template for our home component. We can get rid of the placeholder text and replace it with a div that has the class container. Inside of this div, we're going to add another div with a class of row. And inside of here, we're going to add another div. We're going to give this inner div the classes of column large shadow, border, margin 1. Let's now duplicate this div. These two inner divs are going to represent the two tiles that we see here in the finished site. I'll add some comments to help keep us organized. In the About Me div, let's add a div with a class, text, center. Next, we're going to add an h2 tag with the text about me. Let's stop for a moment and take a look at our site. We're starting to see our homepage come together a bit. If we take a look at the finished site, the next thing we will need is an image for our profile picture. I have created a generic placeholder image. I will include a link to this image in the description, but I encourage you to start personalizing this project by using your own picture if you have one handy. Once you have an image ready, go ahead and go back to your project. In order to use an image in our project, we will need that image to be stored in the Assets folder. This will be our first use of an asset in our project. Any assets such as an image, file, etc. will need to be stored inside of the Assets folder. Go ahead and copy your image into the Assets folder. Then go back to your home HTML template. Under the H2 tag, we're going to add an image. Now we're going to set the source. Keep in mind that the source is a path to the image we want, and that path is relative to where we are currently, so we need to go up a few folders first. We'll do this by typing two periods and a slash. What's nice about VS Code is it will display a list of folders available at the current directory we're at. Based off of this list, we need to go up one more level, so let's do that now. The Assets folder is now visible, so let's click on that. And from there, let's click on our image. Next, let's set the alt text to Profile Picture. We're also going to set the width and height of our image to 256 pixels, so let's do that now. We're going to style our image a little bit as well. Let's give it the class Rounded Circle. Let's take a look at our site. 
Our image is now being displayed in our About Me tile. This looks good, but if we were to compare this to the finished site, you'll notice that the tiles are a little bit wider on our site. This is because the finished site was developed using Bootstrap 4. However, we are using Bootstrap 5, and in Bootstrap 5, they changed the max width of the container class, which is what we're using to encapsulate everything within our homepage. This is just a cosmetic change and won't hurt anything, but I like the look of the finished site a little bit more, so I'm going to change this. Let's go back to the project. We're going to use the container class several times throughout this course, and I want this style change to apply to any use of this class in our project. Because of this, let's make the following changes in our global style sheet. Let's open that now. Add the container class. And let's set the max width to 1140 pixels. Let's take a look at our site again. Now it's consistent with the finished site. Again, this isn't necessary, but something you can do to keep the same styling. Let's go back to our project. Below our header and image, let's add a paragraph tag. This paragraph tag will hold our profile description. Since this is all generic text, I have some lorem ipsum text handy that I will insert now. If you want to follow along, I will include a link in the description to the website I use to generate this text. Otherwise, I encourage you to insert your own description. This wraps up everything we need to do for our About Me tile. Next, we can start setting up our Featured Project tile. For a warning, we will not be able to fully complete the Featured Project tile in this video. This is because we will need to set up a service that can supply our components with information about our projects. This is something that we will be covering in a future video. And when that time comes, we will come back and finish setting up this tile. For now, we will set up what we can. Inside of our featured project div, let's add another div with a class of text center. And inside there, let's add an h2 tag and give it the text featured project. Let's take a look at our site. Our homepage is now set up to the best we can get it at the moment. Later on, we will come back and set up the rest of the featured project tile. Besides that, everything else has been completed. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will start building out the portfolio section of our website. More specifically, we will start by creating these project cards. Feel free to continue along to the next video. If you're liking the Angular Portfolio website course so far, I encourage you to like and subscribe to the channel. Questions and feedback are always welcome in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.